Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. Today we are going to talk about two-phase flow again. In this particular video, we are going to talk about how exactly we can incorporate additional external forces in two-phase flow. External force fields can be of various types st starting from electric field force, magnetic field force, acoustic force, marangoni force or any possible forces. In COMSOL, there are provisions to incorporate multiple force fields at a time and you can see what are their effects in changing the flow morphologies. But for understanding purpose, in this particular video, we will talk about a single force field that is electric field force and this particular model is actually given in the application library of COMSOL. I'll put the link in the description box so that you can follow their blog and you can learn about the same from their blog. But my contribution to this particular video is I am going to explain each and every step so that these things become transparent to you and in, you can apply this knowledge for your research problem modeling. So let us proceed with the problem statement. Initially, I would like to show you the PDF file which is given by COMSOL where the description of the problem is stated. So here you can see this is the schematic of the problem. What exactly we are doing? We have a two-phase flow situation. That means we, are, we have oil as continuous phase because only these two droplets are of water and rest of the portions are filled with oil. So this is how the initial situation looks, looks like and what we have done exactly there are two there are electric field that is acting across this section. So we have a, a positive potential at the top of the channel and we have grounded the bottom of the channel. So across this Across this section, we will have a distribution of electric field and that electric field distribution will create a stress on the fluid and that particular stress is called Maxwell stress and we'll talk little about it in this particular video and we will upload another part of this particular video where we will explain about the Maxwell stress and also be also every aspect of the physics which is lying in this particular model. But in this video, we will only focus on the on the steps of COMSOL. So initially what we understand from the schematic, we understand that we have to solve for the electric field and also we have to solve for the flow. And then we have to couple these two physics because electric field will generate some stress and that stress in turn will affect the flow field and obviously that Maxwell stress or electric field stress has to go to the momentum equation and how exactly we convert this stress into the momentum for I mean force in the momentum equation that we will be explaining today. So let us proceed with the COMSOL file. So here you can see initially we have taken two materials and the materials are like this. Oil is here that is the continuous phase and we have two water droplets one of bigger size and other is smaller compared to the bigger one. So this is the bigger one and this is the smaller one. Now what what is done? This is electric electrostatics. So let us see the equation. What is the equation we are solving? So this is the equation. You can see divergence of D is equal to rho V where rho V is the charge density and E is nothing but the negative gradient of the electric field potential. So this is very well known equation. This is Poisson's equation and we are solving the Poisson's equation for the electric field. And once we solve it, we will have the distribution of the electric field. So the electric field will be solved subject to the boundary condition that upper part of this particular channel will have a positive 
potential or electric field potential and the lower part will be grounded so that is done using the boundary condition so the first boundary condition is electric potential so you can see the top one it is kept at some v0 voltage where this v0 is given here so v0 is 5 kilo volt here so this is a kind of dielectric material oil is dielectric material so you need you need a high electric field to induce the maxwell stress into it and that's why we have taken actually they have taken 5 kilo volt of electric field and the bottom is grounded as you can see and ground means voltage equal to zero here it is given by default initial values so this is how the initial value is taken and initial value yeah, as you can see they have taken a function but you, you could have taken a zero initial value as well but if you take this kind of initial value then it will solve your problem better better means efficiently because it will not actually depend on the initial conditions because you see this particular equation is stationary we don't have any time dependent term so here this initial value is only for the purposes of numerical solution this initial value means the guess value if you are solving with iterative method then you should start the matrix with some initial guess values and that thing actually gives you the initial guess values so those steps we have to understand if you want to know details about the flow field I mean the physics so here now we have to look at the laminar flow obviously there will be a laminar flow because fluid flow is taking place and we have talked about it multiple times so here we should have an inlet so this is how the inlet is and at inlet uh, we have defined uh, an average velocity and that is following a step function and for that what we have done we have taken an analytical function in the definition section so this is the step function if I plot it you can see how exactly the step function is taken so there are multiple step functions multiple analytical functions and I have talked about the same in a separate video I will also put that link in the description box so that you can have a look into that so inlet outlet was defined wall wall means the no slip conditions so here we kept no slip conditions initial values are taken as zero and then this is the heart of the story this is the volume force so we have a volume force or you can say body force in physics we call it body force but in ComSol language they call it volume force both are same basically because in momentum equation if you see if you go to laminar flow and if you see the momentum equation so all the terms in the momentum equation has an unit of force per meter cube that means volumetric force so that is why the term volume force they might have used because this is their terminology that means Comsol's terminology but what I understand is as the force is force per unit volume that is why they have they might have given the name volume force but we also call it body force and this force is coming from the electric field stress and how exactly it is coming for that we have to understand the Maxwell stress so I have opened the Wikipedia page about the basics of electromagnetism so few things we already know and that we have to actually we have to actually remember because those things are necessary while we are working with Maxwell stresses so uh, uh, very basic things I will just cover in this particular video so this is your Gauss's law where we actually solve for the electric field and that is actually equated with the charge density and this is nothing but the equation which we have shown in ComSol also so if you remember in the electrostatics 
we are basically solving the similar equation so you can say this is nothing but the gauss's law and this is the law for the magnetic field that is the divergence of magnetic field is zero this is nothing but faraday's law of electromagnetic induction and the last one is the ampere circuital law so those four equations are actually heart of electromagnetism but the physical thing is once you have a charge density inside any closed domain then you will have a distribution of electric field there and that electric field will generate a stress which is called maxwell stress and the expression of maxwell stress looks like this so this is the expression of the maxwell stress and where here you can see there is one electric field term and other is a magnetic field term for the time being if we just assume that magnetic field is uniform throughout so we can drop this particular thing we, we can go ahead with this electric field equation or, or maxwell stress due to the electric field so here you can see e i e j where i and j are the coordinate indices where in three dimensional cartesian coordinates i can have values x y and z similarly j can have values x y and z and i j can have any combinations like x x x y x z y x y y so any kind of combinations are possible so if you have two indices you have nine combinations x x x y x z y x y y y z z x z y and z z so this is how the components will be looking like if we just expand it so what i have done is in a separate ppt file ppt document i have actually written the stresses so this is the txx term what i have told there are nine components actually and those are the nine components of the stresses txx txy txz tyx tyy tyz and those are the expressions for that where ex is the gradient along x direction gradient of electric field similarly ey and ez are the gradients of electric field along y and z direction so once we have the information about the electric field throughout our solution space we can easily calculate ex ey and ez once we have this ex ey and ez we can actually calculate all the stress components where this epsilon zero is the dielectric permittivity of the material so if we know this we can actually look for we can actually calculate or you can actually quantify those stresses and those stresses will give you the force so the force term is exactly given by the divergence of this Maxwell stresses. So now we, we, if we go to the console, so I can show you in the variables, they have actually listed the forces. So this thing we, which we have shown in the PPT file, this is given for the three dimensional case, but in two dimension, we don't have any Z axis so those terms will be dropped so we'll have only these four terms so txx txy tyx and tyy and those four terms are taken as t11 t12 t21 and t22 so in comsol you can see we have taken as term 11 term 22 term 12 term 21 and these things are nothing but the expressions which we have actually shown here so those expressions are systematically written in this section so i'll show you you can see this is e x square plus e y square so this is coming from that particular equations and then what uh, they have done is so we know that force is nothing but divergence of maxwell stresses or the volumetric force density so this is the fx for fx what we, they have done they have taken derivative of the stresses and these derivatives are given by in comsol derivative is written as d 
the term and the independent variable with respect to which you want to calculate the derivative so this is how it is given so again i'm telling we will have a separate part of this particular video so that we can tell you about the equations in a better way but for the time being you just assume that we have calculated the volumetric forces along x and y component from the maxwell stresses and this maxwell stresses are coming from this electric field equation so now things are getting combined together so we solve for the electric field we have the solution of the electric field vector and from there we can calculate the stresses from the stresses we can calculate the force and that force is integrated with the laminar flow so in the laminar flow if you see you have provision to put external forces and we have actually put it as a volume force so now we have the contribution of the electric field as a force in the system so this force will affect the flow field and again the phase field i have already talked about it in my previous videos so in the phase field also you have to define your inlet which fluid is coming through the inlet that also you need to define so here fluid 2 is coming through the inlet and in the outlet you have to define the outlet the outlet is defined it is weighted wall condition the angle is also defined and also the initial values so initial values mean where exactly you have put your material like, like in in this one the most of the portions are filled with oil so your oil is fluid 2 the where phi is equal to 1 and your water is fluid 1 where phi is equal to minus 1 so for phase field the value of phi varies from minus 1 to 1 and for the level set it varies from 0 to 1 you should remember it and let us show you the phase field equation so this is the phase field equation and we actually we are actually solving this in phase field you have to couple it with the electric field so this is how it is coupled to phase flow this is coupled with the laminar flow you can see laminar flow and phase field those two are coupled so now we have actually defined everything and then you can go for meshing you can have a normal mesh for the understanding purpose but in actual situation you should have a fine mesh so once the meshing is done i have actually simulated it and after i simulate we get this kind of result so i'll show you a movie so this is how two droplets coalesce with each other and that happens under the application of the electric field without electric field you don't see this kind of phenomena so electric field plays a role here so i will just show you how the electric field is distributed so this is how the electric field is distributed you can see uh, your higher electric field is on the top because we have put 5 kv on the top and the bottom one is grounded and the, that is why we have a gradient here gradient of the electric field and from those gradients we are actually calculating the maxwell stresses from maxwell stresses force and that force is allowing to coalesce these two droplets so this is very important because in this particular video we talked about addition of external forces and how exactly it is playing role in changing the morphology of the flow so here change in morphology means there were two separate droplets those are coming close to each other and forming a single droplet and that is your morphology chain so in this video we talked much about the steps but we will have a separate video where we will be talking about the physics in detail we will be explaining with a presentation so that you have understanding of each and every aspect of the equation so today i stop here if you like these videos then kindly subscribe to our channel so that we get more motivation for uploading videos